Hey, welcome back to the channel. Uh, on this show today, or this video, I should say, uh, me and my son are going to be walking around on the University of South Carolina, my alma mater. Um, it is a little bit different because we're not actually on a trail, but I believe you will enjoy the video. Um, there's some really, really nice places out there that you can uh, walk and you can really take advantage of just uh, a really, really nice manicured um, place to walk uh, on campus. So I hope you enjoy the video today at the University of South Carolina. As always, please like, share, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy today's video. South Carolina, and we are getting ready to walk onto the horseshoe. Ready? So, I want to say welcome to the latest episode on my channel here today. I am doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is um, a little bit different than what I usually do. It's not necessarily a trail or whatnot. But I'm going to take you to uh, my alma mater. Uh, we're here at the University of South Carolina. And I'll show you some of the sights out here at the horseshoe. All right. All right, let's go. Let's see what we see here. All right, so we are currently on the horseshoe. And as you can see here, passing by Libra College. And this is the area where a lot of people, especially when we were young, we would come out here and... Um, Ruben, come on, come here, son. Come here. This is a place where people would come. They would play uh, Frisbee. People would study. You see, you can see people in the background who are studying. People bring their dogs out here. It's a really, really nice historic place to walk. And you see they have some really, really nice paths that you can walk on here. And we're gonna show you a little bit more of what's out here. You think this tree is only 20 years old? Nah, this tree is older than that. You can tell by the roots here. This is a really, 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 really old, old tree. I believe it's an oak tree. Pretty sure it's an oak tree looking at the leaves. It's funny how my son was trying to catch those squirrels. The squirrels out here are used to being around people. And from experience, they are not scared. When I was in school here, they would walk right up to you. They were not scared of you. And they even challenge you if you got too close. So uh, they are definitely used to being around people. Uh, that right there says Jennifer Hermel, M I B S. Right here. She grad, she graduated in 1997. Yeah, yeah. And you have other people here that graduate here and have their name out here on the horseshoe. That's one of the cool things about out here. When you graduate, put your name out here. Maybe when you graduate, son, you can put your name. You can put your name out here. You want to? 
How can I draw? No, we have to graduate and then we put your name out here. How can you do that? We need it's to ask mom if her name's out here. I don't know if her name's out here. I have to ask her. Huh? I have to ask mom if she have her name out here. She graduated. See it? Come on. You like that? You want to find more stuff? Come on, let me show you this really other cool tree. Look, Ruben, look. Look. You can climb those branches. Huh? Yeah. Now, this tree here is probably one of my favorite spots out here on the horseshoe. Um, as you can see here, these branches, they go all, this is one tree here. This is this tree right here. And you can see here that the branches, they go all the way around here, see? And then you can see here my son, it also connects over here to where my son is playing at. This, this, this is all one tree, that, son. And that is all one branch. Yeah, this is all one tree. It's just having a branch. I don't know if this tree has a name. It should have a name. But this is one of my favorite places to come out here. And as you can see, my son likes it as well. You want to go up there? Let's see if we can get you up here. Here, hold on to me. You ready? Uh, all right. Here we go. Hold on tight. Hold on to the branch. Hold on to the branch. All right. Hold on. Don't fall over because I'll get in trouble with your mama. Don't fall. Hold on tight. If you fall over, hurt yourself. I'm gonna be in trouble with your mama. He's a little scared. You want to get down? Yes, sir. Pretty, pretty, please. Pretty, pretty, please. You want to come down? All right, let's come on down. Yeah. Well, look at you. Ta -da. I see you. Look at you. You gonna smile for the camera? <laughs> so this is the back end of the horseshoe. You can see. It starts all the way down there from where we started and it goes all the way over there and back up that way. So this is the main part of the horseshoe. Now we're gonna show you some other uh, parts of the campus. College, I wanna show you this interesting plant. You know what that is, Ruben? It's a cactus. You can see the thorns. Come here, Ruben, let me show you this, look. See? I don't know what type of cactus this is, but this, this is a cactus, see? Yeah. A cactus? Uh-huh. Don't break it, see? I like it this one. You like it? I don't know what type of flowers they are, but they're pretty cool. Now, I want to show you something uh, that I really want to show my son. He goes back and forth saying he wants to be an astronaut or he wants to be a paleontologist. Um, this right here that I'm about to show you is the, uh, it's a huge telescope. I forgot the name of it, but hold up. Let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can take him inside. I don't know if the door is locked. I'm gonna show you. We had it locked, so we weren't able to go in, unfortunately. Um, really disappointed. I wanted to show my son that. Let's see if we can get the name. Let's see if we can get the name of this place, Ruben. Um, but you can see it's been here forever. When I was here, I'm pretty sure the name is on the front of the building here. I'm gonna show you. And. It is called, let's see here, what is it called? 
Melton Observatory. Melton Observatory. Let's see if this door is open. See the statue? Now this statue here is new, uh, fairly new, I should say. It, it wasn't here when I was in school, but you see my son right in front of Cocky, our mascot. And you can see he got his fingers up like that. That is the symbol that we make here in Gamecock country. And we see, look at him. It's pretty cool. All right, so now, we are going over here near the Russell House. Now the Russell House is the student, we're gonna go this way, son. Come on. This is the way the student union is at. And I came up here not too long ago and it has been changed dramatically. Um, come here, son, we're going this way. All the step, come on, Ruben. All the, all the new stores and things that they have here, it is totally different from when I was here in school. Um, like that, they just updated, just updated uh, the Barnes and Noble, the store, the bookstore. I used to actually work here when I was a student. It's totally redesigned inside on I don't think we're gonna go in, but I'm gonna show you a little bit more around here on campus. Come on, son. This right here is the tree of knowledge. Come here, son. This is the tree of knowledge. Now, when I was in school, all of the uh, African-American students would come out here and hang out. Um, uh, all the fraternities, sororities, this would be a place where you congregate, talk. Um, this was a, a meeting spot where a lot of people would just come together and hang out. And you can see it's called the Tree of Knowledge, dedicated by the Association of African American Students and Student Affairs. Glad it's still here. Brings back a lot of memories. Come on, son. Look at the fountain over here. I don't want to go over there. Well, we're going to go over here. Let me show you. This is an area, the fountain was one of my favorite places to come on I campus. Yep. And the reason why I like to come out to the fountain, because it's a great area to come. I would sit on one of these benches out here I'm gonna show you. And I would just begin to reflect and think. I would pray and ask God for wisdom and guidance as I was taking some of these challenging computer science classes and things of that nature. And I spent a lot of time out here reflecting, praying and asking God for wisdom as I tried to navigate how I was going to pass these classes. And this is a very special place for me. What? Now that building in the background that is the Thomas Cooper's Library. Um, I must admit, I did not spend enough time in there studying like I should have. Uh, but it is a main attraction here on the university as well. This statue is fairly, fairly new. And this is a statue of Richard Theodore Greener. 
and he was a professor of philosophy and he was the first African-American to graduate from Harvard College and the first African-American faculty member at the University of South Carolina. And he said he later served as a Dean of Howard University Law School as a secretary of the Grant Monument Association and as a US scholar officer to, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, Vladivostok, Russia. So this is fairly new and really cool that they added this statue. That's, uh, that's, that's uh, some type of mold or fungus. Can I touch it? No, I wouldn't touch it. See that big rock? Oh. Put it back. Put it back. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. I don't know the name of it. There's actually another one right over there. But there's an app that I really, really like. You, all you do is just take a, a, a picture of a plant or a mushroom or whatever it is that you see out in the wild and put it on there and people will come out there and let you know what the exact name of the mushroom is. So I'm gonna take a picture and see if I can figure out what the name of this mushroom is and I'll hopefully be able to put it in the video. Now, I, I know this is a little bit different than some of the trails and um, parks and stuff that I go to, but I've been wa actually wanting to come out here for a while uh, to uh, walk around here on campus. Um, but generally, a lot of your colleges, universities, major college universities, they have areas like this where you can go and walk around on campus. You just don't have to go to state parks. Well, you know, state parks or trails and stuff like that, which is, uh, I encourage you, to definitely get out and do that. But you can take advantage of your major universities and go out there. Now, I, I am not a Clemson fan, did not go to Clemson, but I hear that the campus is absolutely amazing. Um, so I definitely want, one day want to go up to the campus up there and walk around because I've never walked on campus, never been there. and just want to see what it looks like there. But if you're ever in the Columbia area, uh, University of South Carolina, the Horseshoe area, over here by the Thomas Cooper Library. Uh, this is a, a very good place to come out, walk and get some fresh air. And that's what it's about. Just going out, get out and be active. You wanna be active. Um, it's good for your health. It's good just to get some fresh air, especially, you know, with all this, um, uh, I've been cooped up a lot during 2020, um, social distancing and stuff like that. It's good to get out, get some fresh air. So I definitely want to encourage you to check out your major universities. Okay, now this right here is Long Street Theater. And it's exactly what the name says, it's a theater. And unfortunately, this is something I regret. I never came here for a show when I was in school. I never came here for a show. I wish I would have. And you know, I still can come here for a show, but this is Long Street Theater. You can see my son going up the steps here. Uh, it's one of the major buildings here on campus. You can see it right when you come up the street here on Sumter Street. And it's really, really cool. Come <laughs> on. 
kind of messed up some things about Rocky. When he was going up the steps and he got up there and he celebrated. Man, it's quite a walk up here. Yep. So that concludes our adventure out here at the University of South Carolina. We went to the Horseshoe, showed you a little bit uh, over here uh, near the Russell House and showed you some of the plants and sceneries out here. Uh, I have some very fun memories out here uh, being a student. <laughs> I probably look like a student with my backpack on out here walking. Um, but this, this is always be home to me and my wife. I don't know, hopefully my son will come here one day, but regardless, uh, we love the University of South Carolina. It's a great place to walk. They have uh, so many uh, paths out here. And um, during the springtime, uh, when the flowers are bloom, have bloomed and everything like that, uh, it's really, really nice out here as well. But it's always a great place to come out here and walk if you're in the Columbia, South Carolina area. So hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care. God bless.